Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Wednesday. It's 8 o'clock. That means one thing. It's three men and a vape show. I hope you are all fine and dandy and sat there lovely and snuggly wuggly in chat. Hopefully we have got sound. Hopefully we have got everything that we should have without it. Uh, thank you very much to everybody who's joined us tonight. You are a bunch of stars. Week in, week out, you follow us and we love you lots. I'm joined by the usual casters, the wonderful Harley from Futurefly. Hello. It's Future Fi, not Fly. Is it? Is it Future Fry? <laughs> did you say oh, did dude. you say Future Fry? Yeah, it's Future Fi, just F Y. Future oh. Fi. Future Fi, you're alive. I thought it, it sounded a little bit like that stuff that you put in your pan, you know, instead of using lard or bit Future of... Fry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Slimmer you, Future Fry. <laughs> How are you today, brother? Look, that in that what that oh, what's his name? That footballer. That's what you should have called this brand, the future, f f future, f f fuck yeah, future fry. But that's never happened on uh, live. I've I've got a stutter on, that's Grant developed. <laughs> I've got a stutter that's slowly developed over the last two years. I don't know where it's come from. I've never stood in my life. It's never happened on camera, and it's just happened. Yeah, no, no. We know you. We know you're just applying for the new role of uh, open all hours. Damn. We know we get it. <laughs> I think I'd make a good Granville, to be fair. Fetch your clock. And we are also joined by the wonderful Mr. B, which is on his 10th show. Is this the 10th one? 10th one today, bro. Oh, fuck me. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> it was touch and go. You know, it's touch and go. <laughs> well, that was no. a bit earlier, wasn't it, when it was touch and go? <laughs> Woo <-hoo>, what <laughs> it? Tell you what, the, I, I might be getting a letter from United Utilities about that one. Evacuation, evacuation. <laughs> We're getting getting a bill for like the anyway. Yeah. We'll, we'll not go into that because that's just that point. It's going to be danger to log in. And we want to say a big love to you all. As you can see, there is us three today. We was going to do about um because obviously it's Women's Week as well this week. Um, it sort of didn't work out getting everybody where we wanted them at the same time. But we will be doing a show with um some reviewers and other influencers as well uh, in the future. Um, but today is, ladies and gentlemen, before we get on to everything else, today is um, Stop Smoking Day today. International Stop Smoking Day. International Stop Smoking Day. Have you all stopped smoking? You better be. You, you better come off those stinkies. I mean, there's the day to quit. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it is unfortunate with the International Women's Week that we couldn't get because we wanted to bring some international personalities in, but. After last week of me and Aiden taking piss out of Viking, they're all a bit worried that we might take the piss. We would have done. Viking. To be fair. <laughs> no, we would have done, to be fair. It's, it's, it's how we roll. Um, but no, it's one of those things. We, today, being international, I mean, but how long is it since I quit smoking now? 2021, that's 20, take away the four. It's been, it, it's been a long time since I quit smoking. It's been at you least know. a full week since I had a fag. I'm really proud of myself. What? I'm joking, I'm joking. Vape, see, this, this was the thing. Vape, vape, vaping bunny has just said it. You are, it is, it is, honestly, national, uh, it's international stop smoking day today. I've not seen anything from any vape companies because what, what nope. a day to start spreading it out going, look, it is, it's uh, stop smoking day. We will do your uh, kit, uh, starter kit with some exactly. juice for a discounted price and get some bit. And there's been absolutely nothing. I don't think, think it would be as well. I it's... think there's more than one, though, isn't there? I, I know there's definitely a national Thanks, one. Thanks, Martin. Though. And that one gets pushed quite a lot. Um, I, don't, I don't know if it's because all vape shops are sure or what, but I mean, the, the only reason any of us know is because when I was going through my tech stuff earlier, on the bear in mind I go through 31 Facebook pages, it was on one of the last three out of the 31 that someone had put Happy No Smoke Day. And I was like... What? <laughs> Literally, yeah. that, other than that, we wouldn't have known. It'd have just passed us and would have been number wiser. Yeah, I did. I didn't. Um, I didn't know at all. That that shocks me. Like there isn't enough, considering how much we want to stop people smoking, and considering how stopping smoking is quite essential to vaping companies being like you know profitable. You think that today would be a good day to get some like non-smoking shit going out? You would. It would be it'd be totally the day to, like I said, put a little bit of a kit together, a bit of juice, and 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 say right today is the the start of your life really because it, that's what it's there to do. It's going to save your life. The thing um, is, though, is it actually National Non-Smoking Day? Is it actually National Non-Smoking Day, or is it just 
some geezer called Pete did woke up one morning and decided it was National Non-Spoken Day. Decided, you know, like, you know how you get, it's National Pizza Eating Day. You know, all that crap that comes about, like you see on Twitter. Today's well, like, today's National Take Your Pants Off Backwards Day. You know, like, is it actually like, you know, naturally non, National Non-Smoking Day? Is it, it's like in people's well, it's, diets. Yeah, th- it's, well, that's what they're all saying. It's uh, the, the NHS has put it out there as well, but there's not nothing there from the NHS, really. They've just got like a banner. I, I, obviously, we put it on at the front of the show. Um, I, I put it up uh, as we were waiting to come on, and th- there was like a, just a couple of banners out there. There were nothing properly put out. We loved you, Viking. We know that, buddy. Oh, Viking Skull, you boring bastard. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice. He knows I'm, he knows I'm loving him. Yeah. No, he's but yeah, that's only that. That's really nice. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much as well for joining us once again on this lovely Wednesday evening. Um, big shout out to you all in chat. Don't forget, in the corner, as you can see, you get 15% off of all Rochford projects. Uh, juices while the show is on go and use that 15% off people also we'll be doing your Rochford project giveaway a little bit later on but it is that time and we, I just got to say as well big uh, shout out to Rob Stanley um, we did the giveaway for the t-shirt last week um, and Rob Stanley had commented but it had been held up uh, by YouTube to think it's spam for some reason it does it now and again and I'd not checked that I'm so sorry Rob YouTube's a bastard. I do you know what? I, the more I use YouTube, the more I hate it. Well, the, it. There's nice comments that come through that always get held up on my channel. Always, well, every you, time. You, the trouble is, is you, what you get is you get these ones. I need a boyfriend. Go and check this <laughs> out, and all this this like porn stuff that they come on and do. I don't know if other reviewers or people have got it. Um, but it, it just gets held up. I don't know if it's like if they've used the hashtag or if they've used something. It just hold, holds it up. So, but he knows I wouldn't have done it on, on purpose. I reckon you would. You're a sly bastard, you. Yeah. You're, like a smiling, you're like a smiling assassin. I got on really well with Rob. He's a lovely bloke. <laughs> I got on really well with Rob. He's a lovely bloke. Right then, the people who are on the catch up, I will play the bumper. This one's for all the cool cats on the replay. So, Harley, the people who are on a div replay play. The, I was just looking, the reason I was so silent, man, is I was looking for uh, something I'd seen in past. In fact, it was something I'd posted on Futurify's Facebook page yesterday, and it were it, it, it's the dragon from Game of Thrones blowing a load of fire, and one of the White Walker things walking out, and the caption for the fire was YouTube's 100 ads, and the guy for White Walker walking out said, "Still not buying me, me still not buying YouTube Premium." <laughs> <All right. laughs> Screw YouTube Premium. I get asked, "Do you want to join?" No. <laughs> we'll give a free try. I don't want that either. Anyway, on with stop talking about our bad YouTubers and let's read these YouTube comments. <laughs> Retro Vape TV, Chris Edwards, Martin McDermott, Chunkmeister, Kevin Lacer, Essence Does Tech, The Irishman, uh, Rob Stanley, sorry, Rob, and Cic- Cicero. I stutter on that one every time. <laughs> And my favourite comment is from the Irishman, asking for us to start a GoFund page for my uh, just for men, <laughs> which we did, which we did reach. And uh, I managed to get some. I need some air implants now. Look at that receding airline. So we started just fund me page for the Wait air get implants. A monk top. Wait till you get a monk top and then I mean, start talking to me. I need air implants before then, don't I? It's a bit too late once it's back. Look, in. look, look. I've, I've only got like a millimetre of hair missing there. Look at me. <laughs> Vain bastard. You've got to think Mr B doesn't know when to stop fucking washing his face, poor lad. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 I'll start back look. here. You know, my, my forehead finishes back here. <laughs> <laughs> I, to be honest with you, I prefer it when you haven't got them bits around there. You know, like when you go completely. I, I like that a bit. Monk top. No, I love my monk top. What are you on about? But then my again, I suppose it'll awesome. keep that side warm. It does. It does. It keeps the top of my head ready, you know, for when I wear a hat or something. I, I, I just don't understand why people grow it. You know, like, they don't do it so much now, but you still see them now and again where they just grow it on Teachers. one side. Teachers. It's, it's, always, it's always people of intellectual standings so or teachers... Apple customer service reps, you know, these sort of people that always uh, always grow the monk top out, makes them look more intellectual. I'll, Lady Dark Sky. I'll, I'll get in touch with Flat Cap and we'll try and start a charity to donate flat caps to these people. Well, what, what <laughs> there the is head, better ways. What, what they need the head warming. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Buy me a rug to go over here. I, I, I know we're going a bit off the subject, but I, obviously I'm doing um, the 11,000 steps uh, for prostate cancer uh, UK. There is a link coming up there. If you can help, please help. If not, share that link out. It is a bit of a nightmare. I'm aching all over. Uh, but it's made me sleep a little bit better. And Louise has been an absolute star. Make sure you catch out the uh, catch the vlogs as well, the daily vlogs. Um, but the thing that I've noticed today, and I don't know when it started happening, and I have noticed it a little bit more. People nowadays do not know how to use telephones. Now, now we get a mobile phone, and the whole point of having a conversation is that you put it to your ear... You can hear them and then you, you talk to them and you don't have to shout or anything. This new fan phase that everybody's going around, this is me and Lou walking around the park, they hold it like that and they've got it on speakerphone. Right then, love, what are we having for tea? Yeah, we're going to have this on and then you can hear it going, yeah, I'll tell you what, I've done the fish fingers, they're out, they're all ready. And I'm thinking, hold on a minute, when did it come? <laughs> Where people forgot to use a telephone like that. You see, the thing is, in public, that is a bit obnoxious. But I know with my phone, when someone rings me, I've got a little stand here that I flip out when I can. You know, it takes about five minutes. You have to wait. They, they, have, they have to wait. My phone goes on the table like that, and I just sit there and speak to them. Because speakerphone is a, a lifesaver as far as well, I'm concerned. It would be if you've got, if you've got um, mufflers on, but it's, I'm just not about, like, walking around. Yeah, walking around's a bit daft. I mean, wasn't there a thing a few years ago where mobile phones give you radiation to the brain? Could that yeah, be a thing of it? That got dis disproven, though, didn't it? But Did it? I don't know. I, I, I'm of that age that when I were about 13, I used to walk around with a Bluetooth headset on. Oh, I remember and then. then. And then How I got to 18 oh, and then started Jesus. hating people more. I used to look at people thinking, you look like a right dick. How much of a dick? <laughs> people walk around with a giant penis growing out the rear. Yeah, <laughs> with the blue light on the end of it. You know? But the, the, again, that's normally, um, and I'm not, I'm a bit of a geek myself, but it's normally the geeks, you know, the ones who are like really are into like the. I love me Star Trek as well, so I, I, but I never did that. Yes, Roger, beat me up. I'm ready. Yes, uh, what is it? Oh, extraordinary! <laughs> it's, it's one of them into. It. Or, or it's a stock. All the people that sell stock, you know, like, sell it now for nine ninety nine ninety nine ninety nine. Thank you. Sell, 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 sell. sell, sell. sell yeah. buy. Hang on, hang on, darling. Yes, no, sell, sell, sell. It's always them twats. The problem you know, like, is they think that the fucking Dell boys. The problem is these days, though, if people aren't walking around like that, because like you said, people don't do that anymore. But if people aren't walking around like that, you've got kids that are walking around with earphones that are that small. But like, oh, you're all right, and you go, oh, you're you. Fuck you talking to? I'm on the phone, dickhead. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Just as bad as waving at a car that you don't know actually know who it is. Oh, wrong person. They, them <laughs> bloody wireless earphones always bug me. Always, but because they're gonna fall out, aren't they? They've got to fall out at some point. I just haven't got them type of ears for where they all. No, live. they can't hang have. in my ears. Wow. I, I literally, someone go, "Yo, B, what? Gone? <laughs> always be fucking earphone gone." The big problem with them is our eldest has had four sets since like September and he's lost stick all four. Wire, stick wires <laughs> on him. It's not a logical technology. It really is. It's got nothing to grip onto. It's not a logical technology. Whoever thought that was a good idea? It's because Apple did it. That's all it is. Apple did it so it's cool. Fucking yeah. dickheads. And then you can get them cheap ones that you can't hear anything from. I've got a pair of them. They're actually all right to go to bed with for one night. You stick them in your ears, you go to sleep, listen to whatever, you wake up in the morning and they're fucked off. Never to be seen again. Like I so said, I just haven't got them size ears to, to do it. It's, they're just not built for like holding things in my ears. They drop out. Even like normal ones, you know, with wires, they suddenly drop out and you have to... And then you're forever going, is that left or is that right? Yeah. You, you, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's like trying to put your fucking shoes on in the dark. You're thinking, that don't fit right. That don't fit right. It's, it is. It is. It's right. It does. It's in. It's like as well, I don't know if anybody's ever done this on your computer when you're trying to put a USB thing in. You put it in and you think that's not fitting. You turn it around and then yeah. you look at it and it was right the first time. Yeah, that, I do that on a daily basis. You have no idea how many times <laughs> I've swore at my PC having full on arguments with it, you piss taking fucking <laughs> bastard. I got it done right first time. How come that's now? I've turned it around and it goes, hey, off it. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like he's going, I've got you. Got yeah. you. Yeah, you little shit. Yeah, you thought you got it in first time, didn't you? No. Talking about how technology moves on, the, let, let's have a little poll in the comments. 
Who's actually users? Who's got a house phone plugged in? Who uses a landline these days? I haven't used a landline since about 2008. We have got a landline, but it isn't like the old ones. You know, like when I was a kid, they used to ring round. <laughs> <laughs> no, no when, you, when you was a kid, it was... <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah, it does. That's how they all worked. You know, we don't use one. In fact, we plugged one in last year. Steph found it, she plugged it in, and next day, no one knows our house number because we don't use it. Next day, phone rang. We shit to send. What's that? <laughs> Genuinely, <laughs> it might sound like I'm taking piss, but we did actually go, what the fuck is that? Who's ringing me? <laughs> Why? Who has my... Whoa. <laughs> well, we thought... It, shot, it? We Rock thought it was got one. mobile. Lisa Simpson has in. Bill, Bill has. I've, I've got one. I think they're always good for emergencies, you know, like if your phone goes down or out. Yeah, Fuck and, and I'll ask. Uh, to be honest with you, Louise, is, she should work for for BT because she's constantly on the, well, excuse me, on the phone. She wakes up in the morning. That's the first thing she does. She either I turn into like the Vitalite man. She wakes up in the morning. She goes straight to Feeling the phone. <laughs> what did me breakfast? So she picks the phone up. <laughs> she, and I think she works it in her mind. Right, I'll, I'll phone my dad while he's going to work. Then my mum. Then I'll phone my grandma. Then she'll phone Jan, uh, Solom's uh, missus. Um, our Jan, phone her up and then she'll think, hmm, I'll phone the doctors, my elbow's hurting. So she'll phone doctors and then we'll have a little bit of a break for a while and then they'll all phone her back. She's constantly on the phone. I just, oh, dang it. Landlines, I don't, again, it's, it is what it is, isn't it? I haven't used one since 2008. I don't see the point of them. The only time we ever, 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 ever get a landline in so is for the So you just turned into All Saints then. Never, ever, ever, ever get a landline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we just, I just don't, I don't, I don't even get, I, I, do you know what? Until you mentioned it, I completely forgot landlines existed. Online. Yeah, we're going for the internet, that's it. I don't even know the number to it. Yeah, we, we've got a landline. I, 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 Louise, it cost me so much in credit. Even if you got the free one, she'd still ring some sort of number. I always remember we got before we had the kids. We got and we, she was only young, and we, we she's she's eight years younger than me. But we we were um, in a in the house and we got the phone on and all that. Bill come through and it was about I don't know. I think for the, say if it were just for the month, it were an extra like sixty quid. And I went, what the hell's happened here? I looked through and there's this number. I says, what's this number? I don't know it. I don't know it. <laughs> Anyway, I was sat there about two days later in the fucking <coughs> morning. It was this morning. She was phoning up to get, you know, you can win a car and you can win all that. She says, I didn't know it cost that much. I was like, is that number on there? <laughs> the best thing about it was you were watching it on replay. Fucking hell, I'm fired. <laughs> Do you want to know My wife was pointing to something out. Technology that really pisses me off. You, we've all got, we've all got the Alexa. We've all got that fucking piece of shit in our room. Alexa. Yeah, we've all got that. Did you know you can phone into that fucking thing? Mm. Now I didn't know this until one day when I'm sat downstairs in the living room. I left my mobile upstairs. I'm chilling out with the dogs on the sofa, having a nice kip, and You're watching them maxing and shooting some people out. Exactly, exactly. And I've got a horror movie on TV. Mm. I'm really getting this movie. And all of a sudden, is this? Michael, <laughs> no, <laughs> Michael, what the fuck? <laughs> that shit, me. But then I, I put the I put the thing on mute, the TV on mute. I'm giving it. Hello, Michael. Fuck me. Someone's. And it turns out Alexa's there. Going, Michael, it's me. It's your wife. What the fuck? I had a full on heart attack. <laughs> full on. Art attack. It shit me right up. Who gave that stupid idea? That is that is one of the biggest things, you know, when, when you're like, you think, I've heard that, or have I, have I seen this? Or is there something there? And then something, which is probably <laughs> nothing to do with what we had actually heard, and then you get a bang, and you're like, ooh. And that <laughs> shoots of stuff through. It's a little bit like, I'm, I'm so sorry for people in chat, them danger wanks, you know what I mean? Like you, Steph. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's it. That, that's the one where you think your mum's going to walk in Danger on you. Danger wanks. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. You know, that, that is the best thing about being a bloke, the danger wank. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> I, I never did that. I always found it to be a bit strange shouting your mum's name while you... <laughs> no, I never did that. I was just no, you, don't, you don't sit there going, Mother, <laughs> Mother, 
<laughs> Mother, you don't do that. Well, it's that, like, that's just, that, that thing went around. That thing went around in the in the, like the nineties, wasn't it? As well, because what what you're doing, son? I'm shaking the beans because that came out, wasn't it? With NASA Cafe. But <laughs> can you remember it? What are you doing, son? I'm shaking the beans. <laughs> I'm shaking beans, Dad. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm not being funny, son, but you're not supposed to have a creamer with it. <laughs> <laughs> right then, we're going to move on, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to see what people have got in their hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's that time, people. It's handshake time. <laughs> So it is the hand check. You can share things now. <laughs> if I say if one looks like a penis, I'm gonna die. Gonna I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to do this. <laughs> right, I'm gonna take a deep breath and then press the button. I've heard that before. <laughs> First of all, we've got Amanda Gibson with a caliber. And I believe it's a caliber anyway. There's quite it's a few that look that long. Uh, she's got the salt, black currant, and ice. And then a very dark picture, but that is Andy Fretwell with the Argus GT and a cat. What's going on under Blanky there? Is it a Blanky? <laughs> oh, no, that's wrong picture. That's not a cat. It is a no. cat. What? Let's move on. <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus. God. I'm dead. I'm dead. Two, two, six, I'm wise guy. We've got Becky with a Geek Vape Aegis Max, I believe. It's definitely an Aegis I mean, I think that's the Kaelin on top of it. It looks like a Kaelin, like I say, K. So we'll call it a Kaelin. And the 226 Wise Guy. Or Wiz Guy, as I called it. You did, you called it Wiz Guy. Wiz Guy. <laughs> Wiz Guy's getting quite popular because Gareth George has got it as well. Inside is Free Max Maxus 100 Watt. He's got the Apple and Mango Wiz Guy. Uh, and the Drag X Plus with Pud Butterscotch Custard. He's pulling his pud into his. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, though. Do you two need to go, uh, go and have a two-minute timeout? <laughs> yes, Dad. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Carry on, Dad. <laughs> the Argus. Not the Argus. What am I? The, um, yeah. That's the lost bit, Ursa. Ursa, that's why we get Argus. It is indeed. It's from Lee Armitage, and it's got the lesser stare in it. When they sent mine out, I was so gutted, because I didn't get the leather one where I could really give it a good rub. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> she... I actually quite embarrassed on? myself. I was supposed to do a retake because I, I, I spent ages on camera rubbing it and destroying this mod. <laughs> and then I did a video and she messaged me going, that's not one of them. Oh, yeah, shit. mine were exactly the same. Mine were just can the you, wood. Can you please edit it and tell everyone you've done it wrong? And I went, yeah, of course I will. And I forgot, so <laughs> sorry. We've got Les Wardle with the 205 RDA on the topside jewel from Dovepo. Big love, Les. Comment. Edition. Uh, Lucky Seven and Black Current Ice. Mark Richardson with a Mark Aegis Max. Mark, what? Geek Vip Aegis Max. Nice. Like juggernaut V2 on it. That's quite nice in that gold color. You know, they're, yeah. doing, they're redoing the Juggernauts, aren't they? Yeah, V. Yeah, is it V2? Is that, is V2. that, is that the V2, the one that they've redone? What yeah, I, have, what I, I have, have seen it. I was looking at it today on Sourcemore. What have they changed? I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking at him, but I didn't really give a fuck. <laughs> We've made top cap ever so slightly thicker off in it. That, that was a joke, by the way. Matt Mannion, the gay out with a juggernaut V2 again. Not, you know what I mean. With a no frills cake. Ooh. Cake. I like that mod. Yeah, that mod, yeah. nice. It's beautiful. The, I love... those, look at those Gaussy batteries. Ooh. <laughs> I you know love best, seafood things. Do you know the best thing as well? When you put this next picture on, everybody's going to be like turning red like a dog when you go. <laughs> 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 and don't, everybody at home is now doing exactly the same thing. They're all turning the red. <laughs> yeah, that I meant, worked. <laughs> I meant, I meant to, I meant to ro crop and rotate. I don't. I meant to do this beforehand. It don't matter. Upside down. Upside down. Ah, there you go. Yay. Um, <sighs> you know, the pal, okay. Archery pal, uh, 18650. Is it that one? I don't know. I've lost my notes and I'm saving a oh, for fuck's sake. Look at all them blown pictures. We, we just <laughs> cancel, right? That's Matt Smith with the Death Wish conduit, the Nostorama, with Sigfried 
Last day, Earl, sir. Death Wish V4 Limited Edition and the Aspire. M- M- Come on. Mollus. The- <laughs> That's the, what you're um, going to go out for seafood. It's a mollus. <laughs> now, he did comment saying that that's not an handshake. That's everything that he's rebuilding at the time. So that, that's why there's so many. Oh, sorry, about the, sorry about the sideways picture, Matthew. The, um, I forgot to change it. My bad. <laughs> Vaping pasty. Hi, Liz. That's the giveaway, folks. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Liz. <laughs> <sighs> the drag three. Paul Grayson with a drag free with something hell vape because I couldn't think it looks like hell vape. it might not be hell vape, but to me it looks hell vape ish. Is that the um, it's not the uh, no, it's not the Trisha, not the Trisha Lane, the, the um, no, it's not now. It's got the grip around the top. The I know what it is, I just can't think of which one it is. The X, uh, what is it? Um, Anybody know in chat? Let us know. We're not reviewers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking, I'm just letting you guess what it is. <laughs> it's one of the old ones, I'm sure it is. Uh, um, is it the Dead Rabbit? Um, Co- I think Courtney's saying that it's um, the V2 Dead, Ra- Dead Rabbit V2. That's exactly V2. what it is. It's a Dead, Dead Rabbit V2. I'm just waiting for you to get it. All right, clever clogs. I'm just sat back thinking, I'm just going to let it keep guessing. The Tallow X, I was thinking, but it's it's not now. I know what it is, but you said first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's one of them. He's one of them. Oh, that's Sarah nice. Lewis. What's that? That That is Sarah Lou's picture with the Armour Mods V1 with the FLVR RDA. Oh, I actually like that. Big, big loot, big love to Sarah Lou. Also, I like the way she's put that that together because that is obviously lovely. She thought, oh, it won't sit right, so I'll put me snips. Yeah, <laughs> but, but she did actually say it's with some cream tea and some snips. That is um, that is definitely something you can put on Instagram. That picture. Well, yeah, if you cop it square like that, that is a perfect Instagrammable picture. I like that mod. It's understated but nice. I like the snips. They look, they've got a nice grip to them, haven't they? I, I like the mod. The mod looks really nice. That fucking cream tea ain't bad either. <laughs> it's <laughs> a lot better if you were real. <laughs> I want the scone, fat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> that is the last one. There we go. There we go. That hey, not bad. Not bad. I, I do like that laugh. That laugh. Mrs. B likes that last one as well. She's out there thinking fat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tell you what though, I'm terrible for going to Morrison's. You know, just getting them the scones, and then you get the 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 you've got your jam, and then you whip that cream up, and you're thinking, I'll just have one. I end up with four of them on there. You know what I mean? And then you'd always do that thing. Do you know what? I feel a little bit sick, and you think you're not surprised, fatty. You've just had half a fucking dairy cow. <laughs> I never, I never have that problem. That's <laughs> it. Fucking eat best. <laughs> <laughs> The other one that I love about is, well, have you ever done it when you've been out on a night out and you've got that kebab and you've only had a bit of it and then fell asleep and then at half four you go, oh, I'll finish that. Many times, yes. It, things like that sort of explain this. You know, <laughs> <what we do? laughs> but the, yeah, cold kebab is the best thing in the world. You know, quite often, I, I'd buy a kebab on my way home just to have in the morning. I, I used to think, well, do you know what, yeah. in the morning I'm going to wake up and go as fuck, not want to get out of bed. If I buy a kebab or a pizza, I'll be able to roll over and just start eating and go back to sleep. My, my biggest problem was when I like used to do door work and stuff, we used to have a kebab shop right across from the night where you worked at. So when I finished, I buy me kebab, but I always want chips with it. Now, what I do with a kebab and chips is I put the chips inside the kebab and eat it all at once, which is fine until you leave half to the next morning. Yeah, exactly. So then all your chips have gone cold. And then you're going to sit there for half an hour picking the fucking chips out. It's a pain in the arse. Jesus Christ. What the, you like you were sat down there eating a, one of them fucking... What, 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 what Aborigines do? <laughs> I was going to say kazoo then, but a kazoo's a little kazoo. tiny. Kazoo? <laughs> kazoo? <laughs> Does he look like a man with kazoo lips? No, he doesn't. No, he wants... What the cold? <sighs> a didgeridoo. Didgeridoo, that's it. <laughs> Oh, we just started to sing what? a song then, and I better not do that one. <laughs> Go on. Go on, do this song. Oh, 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 we oh, oh, fucked oh. it up anyway. <laughs> That's what it'd be, so, like. it'd be like eating a didgeridoo. No, why am I doing it now? Well, the thing is, though, kebabs around this area are predominantly big. You know what I mean? It is a two-hand job. You know, you don't... <laughs> 
<laughs> we're, talking, we're talking like family Please size fucking man with two on Get that in the Facebook group. <laughs> the best thing about it is we've got Stuart Valentine in from Australia and Pam Bright as well. We should have just... <laughs> It's all right, sport. We've been there before. <laughs> Can you guess what it is yet? <laughs> have you ever had a shoebox kebab? A shoebox? A shoebox ke- ke- no. Oh, if your takeaway is not doing shoebox kebabs, you're doing it wrong. It's literally a box the shape of a shoebox. The, the, well, I got Mane- that bit. Mane- <laughs> it's in the name of the fucking thing. Meneers does my intents there, but basically it's full of... <laughs> Don uh don of meat and um chicken kebab, a garlic bread. It's bit the box is crammed full and in the generally about eight, ten quid. And you can easily get five, six kebabs out of them. They're cracking. Well, we get them in pizza boxes where they put them all yeah. on and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like a massive great big pizza box. They don't sit I down don't... The, they don't sit down there with a sketchers box and go out to I was just about to say. say. <laughs> can, I, I, start, I, I, but, can you remember when Chippy used to look and everybody <laughs> save their old newspapers, please? That's right. Anybody it's, it's who's getting a new qu- pair of shoes, drop it off at Chippy. <laughs> it's seven quid for sketches, but twenty five for a night. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want the Adidas, it's an extra three quid. <laughs> three strikes for life. The bitch. best thing about today, you're trying to tuck into your kebab, but you have to start taking that paper out the end. <laughs> That's never gonna fit. They said it were a fucking size eight. It's not. <laughs> What's this a US size? (laughs) Fucking Europeans. (laughs) Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. (laughs) (laughs) You're only jealous. That's what's going on here. You're jealous. Can you imagine that as well? She's got sauce on it. Yeah, I wish you want filleted top, son. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, come on. I can't be the only one that's had a shoebox kebab. Come on, Jay. <laughs> Back me up here. What was the brand? <laughs> Stop there walking over me. What are you going there, some curry sauce? <laughs> <laughs> Chips, man, it's top. Anyway, we better get on. This is a show, I think. Um, that's fucking brilliant. <laughs> Um, I'll tell you what, we're, we obviously we're picking on Ali all the way through it. I think we'll do the deals first. It's, it's been a while since we've done it, and uh, we'll carry oh, on. Oh, fuck you. Clip. Fuck you. <laughs> a message from deep within the jungle. I've searched high and low for a lot of the deals. So here, from Vapep, deals of the week. So it's deals of the week. <laughs> I'm, I'm broken. <laughs> oh, right, let's do this. Oh, right. I, I need to find a shoebox kebab for the next deal. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So this week's Deals of the Week. Now then, we're going to go to our usual place, which is eSig1, because I found this kit, and this kit is a winner. It's QP Designs Cali, RDA, plus RSA, LE, which I think is limited edition, 28mm kit. You get the base. You get this thing. You get the stainless steel, the gold, and the copper. All for $64.99. That's actually not a bad kit. No, but the name sounds like something you should be wearing a mask for in the hospital, doesn't it? Do you not get Cali trainers? It's Cali RDA and R- <laughs> you've got R- RSA, PDM. Yeah, RSA, COVID-19, it's all in there. So on the next one, we've got this, honestly, this to me, I got a boner when I saw this. The Death Wish Mods V4 kit by Bogan Edition was $169.99, now just 84 99. It comes in black or gunmetal. Just look at this. You don't appreciate this well, until you see... I don't want it in fucking silver. Well, no, because you wait till you see the gunmetal one. That's black. That's black. Ah, there we go. There we go. There we go. That is look nice. at that. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And it comes complete with the unholy RDA with it as well. So you get the whole thing. The whole thing with all that beautiful engraving. For the low, low price of eighty four 
99. We can buy three of them at that price. What, and what since it, box does that come in? That comes <laughs> in. I guarantee it's not a fucking shoebox. <laughs> so, but and because it is non smoking day, I have picked something cheap that you can buy for your friend who is still on the stinkies. This, a light kit by smock, was £40, now just nineteen ninety. Nine. Did you review that, Arlie? Nope. No. Must it's a simple. Like it's a very. It's a very simple uh, pod kit. As you can see, it comes in matte blue, matte gold, matte green, Stephen Gunmetal, and Jake Red. And it takes the RPM coils, doesn't it? It does. It takes the RPM coils <clears throat> for twenty quid. This is a great starter kit, and even better. It's a good kit. You know, if you're going to work and you're worried about, you don't want to take your nice death wash. You just bought the death wish mod. I nearly call it a death wash mod then. If you've bought the death wish mod, you don't, want to, you don't want to take that to work. You want to have something cheap in your pocket that you don't care if you sit on. This is the perfect mod for you. Decent Although, battery as well. You've got like a 1,600 mod battery in there, haven't you? Yeah, no, it's a big, big battery. And it hits as well. It's got the 0.8 ohms MTL coil in there. You've also got the 0.4 ohms DTL coil. So you've got an option of two. So like I said, but I think that looks really smart. I know there's a lot of smart haters out there, but I actually really like that. It's simple. Well, the, the RPM coils are pretty good. There's nothing wrong with the RPM coils. Yeah, exactly. But for, for my pick of the week, it's got to be this one. That Deathwish Mods Borgen Edition is absolutely stunning. And I think that is fucking gorgeous. But there you go. That is my deals of the week. Liz says, God, the, the deals have gone a bit elitist. Well, we, we're looking at a few more, because obviously we, we talk about pods all the time, don't we? Hey, at the end there. of the day, at the end of the day, what you consider a deal depends on your budget. It's budget versus value. And at the end of the day, I don't just look at a £6.99 piece of shite that no one would want to buy. I look at everything. And if you've got something that's reduced from £160 to £90, that's a deal. That's a deal, yeah. look at it. I, I, I think we spoke about it when we were first, like when we first all moved around when Flat Cat went, about maybe looking at some um, juice deals as well. Yeah, exactly. I think I'm looking. I'm looking at juice deals, um, but then you said no, the Rockford Project, and I've got. I tell you what, I've got to give a massive shout out to Rockford Project, who sent me two bottles of their Black Crack. The, the, it's called Black Vine, but I call it Black Crack. Everyone calls it Black Crack because it's it's a black and great mix. Of, oh, oh, it's Jay, sexy. Jay's one of probably the nicest blokes you'll ever ever meet. He's he's a really nice bloke. And don't forget the code down below. You've got for the next hour. Well, I don't think we're on. We've got an hour. I think uh, for the next twenty minutes, fifteen percent off. Go and treat yourself. You will not oh, be. Uh... Get yourself some of this Black Crack. <laughs> Tell you, change your life. <laughs> you will not uh, be disappointed. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move straight on to Harley's Tech. Here, this is Harley's Tech Report. We're working you tonight, bro, aren't we? I know, man. Oh, no, I need a break. <laughs> He's a shoebox. Viking mm. <laughs> 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 Vapor. Mr. B, did Oxford send you the Arbiter yet? No. <laughs> well, I'm sure that will be coming out at time instead of sending. <laughs> and and also, really everybody got their prizes as well from the the Oxford giveaway as well. Uh, Sam sent us a lovely picture. Please make sure if you do win any of the giveaways, or if you win anything, or you get the Rochford project, please post it in our wonderful group, uh, which Matty looks after. He's a lovely bloke as well, and he's uh, he's been participating in the eleven thousand steps as well. Oh, vaping heed. Got a shoebox kebab order. and can't catch the fucker as it's linked for Christie's old night box. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, so just while he's doing, before he does his deals, uh, make sure you get over on a Thursday straight away after the UK Vape Show. The vaping head is, is, is on straight away afterwards. Go and check him out. Absolutely brilliant bloke. It's actually one of the best shows going inside. It's a brilliant show. It's a vaping heat show. The part Talking about lines that get pulled out quite a lot. The artery pal. This is the third version. It's currently on EC1 as well. It's on their main screen. So, yeah. is, is this got Tony's B's name on it, do you think? 
I don't know. No idea to that, to be honest with you. I do know, though, that it's 3 mil and 2 mil. It's got them horrible coil bases. I don't know if you guys agree, but I cannot stand the pod coils that have got separate bases. The, the finicate, the missing, the horrible. It's got bottom fill, <clears throat> 1,000 milliamp hour battery, USB-C charger that takes one amp. Uh, it's made of zinc alloy, stainless steel, and PC, PTCG. It's five watts up to 25 watts, and it is 0.5. It takes 0.5 up to two ohms. Yeah, they, they describe it as an MTL or a restrictive direct lung, which basically means it's just going to be an MTL, realistically. Well, it depends. The other ones wasn't quite like that. If you had it wide open, you, it was restricted direct along the. If, if you, you you dial it in, and like you said, the, the, all of the pals were exactly the same. They had that little bit on the bottom, and it is quite. Um, nowadays, you see them quite often where you've got the. If, even if you look at the Oxford, that does it unless it's the 0.2 ohm coil. Uh, they are. I, I say it every single time I do a review on them, just make sure you don't throw them away because loads of times I fish through the bin and think, shit, I've thrown that away. Yeah, every review I do with them types of coils, I'll say how much I detest them. And I will not, I'm will. i adamant I will not come around to it. And not out of stubbornness, just because, yeah, you could argue that it's better for the environment because you're wasting it. But that little bit, I mean, if you've got to waste the entire coil, then what's that little bit going to make a difference? Every little helps. For, for Nikita, losing little shits, I, I can't. I really, really can't stand them. Anyway, I, do that, I do the like the black pump. and gold one. I do like that black and gold one. I, I've, I've, I've got all of the pals here. Uh, I just haven't got that one. Yet. I do like them. Yes. I, do, I think they're on sale at 25 quid on EC, EC1. That's no, and they're, they're really good. And obviously they've slimmed it down, aren't they? 20% smaller. Guess it's smaller than smaller. Which is, yeah. <laughs> uh, the other two are purely thank you to Aiden because I, I really couldn't find up today. This is the What Off 4 Troll X RTA. It's 36 mil high, 24 mil in diameter, 810 drip tip, single or dual coil. It's got 4.4 mil as a bubble glass. Now, this is a bit that confused me. It's 2 mil for TPD, 3 mil for not. Now, unless they're using a volume reducer, I don't understand how they can both go up to 4.4 mil with bubble glass. It's got top fill. It's got a triangular inlet airflow, which, as we'll look at in a minute, that basically means it's got three inlets. But as you've probably seen from that picture, it has actually got changeable internal airflow as well. I, I so think I'm, a lot of the people, uh, Devil Vapor's just done a build on there uh, on his on the show previous to this. He's done a good job as well. I, I, I think in the last I'm two years, that. I think in the last two years, that rounded type decks come very, with the honeycomb type holes, have come Colander. very popular. Well, it, it, it makes more sense to have a rounded deck at the bottom, purely because it helps the airflow. But I actually really like the look of that, especially considering you can take the airflow out with the coils in. Also, it's um, you can take, you know, where you've, you've got this silicon bit at the top, you know, like you, uh, he called it the uh, piss flaps. Um, it, they, you can move that out of the way as well. Right. And fill it. It does I look like really that. nice. I, no, I like that. I don't usually like with all four products, but that one, that's pretty cool. See, that, there's the internal airflow you could change. As you've just seen on the other picture, that it slides out and you can change it from the holes to just two slots. So they're saying that the honeycomb is for single coil and the big chunky ones for the double coils. Hmm. Yeah. The, 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 the only thing I, I, I really saw, they didn't directly refer to that. They just kind of said it gives you, like he says, v, that one gives you smoother, that one gives you more vigorous, chunky airflow. Um, I, I, I suppose, in theory, because that's blocking more airflow, that one would be better. Uh, I'm already seeing a mistake. They've got fucking flatheads in there. Why won't they get rid of this flathead bullshit <clears throat> technology? Yeah. Fucking hate flatheads. Flat cap says it's tasty, but it's a little bit leaky. A little bit leaky. Ooh. So yeah, you, you're I've, not. I've, mm. Just said that Jay's. He did a he did a build before the show. Nice to see you hooked on funk. Big love, brother. I don't like leaky tanks. That that is a big negative for me. If it's a leaky tank. That's the try inlet. Obviously, it's got three sides for the airflow rather than just two. Oh, we'll move on then, shall we? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. That's the 
Helvet, oh. Trishaw, V2, that Semi, That looks so Mechamon. sexy. That looks so sexy. I want the V2 more than anything right now. I've been looking at the V2 for about three weeks solid. I, I, I say, I've nice... reviewed that. It's been out for a while, but the, the, what's different about this is they've actually put a kick in there. Yeah. <clears throat> so the, it's, it's um, obviously got a it, protection. Well, I want, I want, I, I want the copper one. The copper one looks so nice. Well, the description of it on Hellbait's website is it's got the magnetic uh, attraction button. It's twenty-seven mil in diameter, tapered down to twenty-five mil. Uh, automatic, fl automatically floatery button adjustment. Smart, uh, smart protect and full mech mode available. 18650, 2700, and 21700. Large copper contact with mirror polishing craft. I saw one that. That looked... Sick. I think the look of it... Like, never mind the fact they put extra technology in to keep you safe. That's always a good thing. But I think that looked so super I really liked it. It was, the first, it was the first mech mod I'd actually reviewed, and um, we all know my sort of feelings on mech mods, and I, I really did like it. Um and I got, I had the black one, and it looked absolutely gorgeous. To give it to Mark, because obviously Mark's more of a mech head than I am. It's not something that I'd actually use. Big love, Devil Vapor. Are you okay, bro? I'm getting into mech mods now. I must admit, I'm getting into them. I've been using the Suicide mod for, since my birthday, and I'm getting into them. I like they, they have a different way of firing. That's just completely yeah, get, different to regulated. Yeah. Well, I did say to Steph earlier, because obviously when I op reopen the shop after lockdown, it won't be vape mill anymore, it'll be Futurify. So although it will have as much stock as it had before, it will also have all the personalised gifts and stuff that I do, that I've always done, but now it'll be split out and, <laughs> and, and done around. So I said, I, I can't really be clouding shop out like I used to, because obviously people, an old woman that comes in to buy a personalised mug is not going to want to buy want all that vape around. So I said, I'm going to have to get an MTL device and just use that in shop and then go outside to cloud. And no, I, 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 think, I think when I do that, I think I will be using my Mac and an MTL. Uh, and then no. just saving my mo actual regulated mods for if I go out or whatnot. There's a trick. Circulate the air in the shop or get a dehumidifier. That will solve the problem. You can get those silent fans that don't annoy anybody and push it and aim it towards your dehumidifier and it will push the vape to the dehumidifier, job sorted. You, your shop isn't full of vape. Yeah, but at the same point, I don't think people... I know, I know you could argue that it sells vape stuff, but I don't think... And I don't want to encourage people to cloud in shops either. The, my biggest pet hate from when I was... Before I was running pubs is people sitting in a pub and going... <sighs> And I thinking, oh, look at me, I've got big clouds. And there were people, I, I used to watch people, big bill, and it'd, it'd stand, sit me, and, and I used to think, do you know when it gets banned, it'll be your fault, you arsehole. Yeah, because we had a it. lot of people <clears throat> don't know, don't understand the difference between DTL and MTL. So when I started running pubs, all the staff were told, if someone asks, can they vape, your answer is yes, but do not cloud. Because that way, no one will even notice you're vaping and it'll all be fine. As soon as you've got a knobhead come in that blows clouds like we do, then all of a sudden, everyone's going to notice it. Everyone's going to complain about it. Great band. So at the same point, I don't think it's a bad thing that I'm asking people not to cloud in the shop because it's kind of going, you're allowed to vape in here, but don't cloud. It's disrespectful to other people, if you know what I mean. I said that over the road. We had a, a lad in there. He was an older gentleman. And he used to have... Not a met mod, but it was. It, it were, I can't remember what tank it was. It might have been the the dead rabbit, and he sat there blowing it. And I went over to him and said, "Look, we're going to get barred in here if you do that." I said, "Don't blow the clouds. Mm. Just come in with a mouth of lung, something really small." And if yeah, I ever yeah. come in with a device like that, I used to blow it down and not take a great. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, when you're in your own space, there's something quite nice about blowing a massive cloud. It, you know, it's. But yeah, if you if you're in like public, you, there's got to be some sort of common decency, aren't there? Really? Yeah. I mean, it, I've said it before. Even if I go to like, if I, I went to Lead Fest over year, and even now I took an MTL with me, because all right, yeah, fair enough. You're in a outdoor space, you can blow it up. And most time that's all right. But if it's wind there, and you try and blow it up, it's going to go straight into his face. No, fuck that. If you're outdoors, it's yeah. fair game. And what? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, when you're in a proper dense crowd because you're watching a band, and one, I'm not rude enough to blow it in his face. And two, like I say, it gives a bad name to vapors and vaping. 
Um, so, like I said, in that crowd, if there were no Breeze, I'd quite happily vape up. But, like I said, you don't want to be that guy. One, you don't want to be that guy. And two, like I said, all these people that complain about, oh, it smells worse from fags. You don't want to oh, give I a hammer, you know you don't want to I hear while, we, while we're going, lads, I was just talking, I'm just putting, ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to do your Rochford Project giveaway. Also, remember, this is for UK and Ireland only. It's all of Ireland, but it's only for UK and Ireland until we get everything sorted out with, obviously, with Brit Exit. So please remember that. Don't enter if you are not in the UK or Ireland as a whole, um, or it will sod the whole show up. Right. Did you just actual... say Brit Exit? He's, instead of his actual name, Brexit. No, no, Brit Exit. Exit. I want to be different. <laughs> Mate, so I've, I've, all week I've been getting told off for saying prostrate wrong. <laughs> Bum. That's right, Stuart. Bum. That's it. That's probably what I should have said. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, the word is shoebox. <laughs> Stick shoe. I, it, to be honest with you, I was going to put shoebox kebab, but that's a bit bit uh, oh, too long. Oh, it, really. I, I need to find the shoebox kebab, man. I think the closest thing we've got there's a, a, a an Indian around here called Bombay Hills or something like that, and they do this. They, they call it the King Kebab, and I'm not joking. It could feed six people, three on my own, you know. But it's it's like it's incredibly huge, and that would fit in a shoebox, but I can't. Shoebox I should kebab. have. The takeaway where we got it from didn't actually call it a shoebox kebab. In fact, whenever you went in shopping and have a shoebox kebab, I used to get quite pissed off with you. But that's what it is. It's the size of the shoebox. It, so anyway. it's now changed now. It wasn't a shoebox. He's not sat there with a set of uh, sketches. Well, it is. It's a shoebox, isn't it? It's a box the size of a shoebox. It's a shoebox. Well, Would you get a pizza was... in a shoebox? <laughs> exactly. We know you do, actually. Calzones. Ah. But you can get a pizza in a shoebox. <laughs> You can get a pizza in a shoebox. It's called a calzone. Well, you know, a calzone is in a what you call it, isn't it? It's normally in one of them. It's like, a fo- you know, it's a folded. One. It's basically an Italian pasty. Yeah, it's it's folded over pizza. But what I'm saying, they normally come in the you know like the styrofoam sort of ones, don't they? Well, it depends where you go to. If you've got a place with an idiot owner, yes. But well, to be honest <laughs> with you, it all depends where you go to. It sometimes it comes on a fucking plate. <laughs> <laughs> With the chips at the side, but we're on about ordering here. So. Speaking about shoeboxes, has everybody seen the big announcement or the big showing off of vaping with Vic's new Volvo RTA? Yeah, we've uh, we've we've had a good giggle about that a few times. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the RTA that no man will ever find. I think, yeah. Well, that'd be I called that, the clit. No, that that's no, that's his RTA that's been out the growler. Oh, either that or the other one which called the G spot. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, think, I tell you what, I think I that found looks the really cool. Ones, though they were on a sister. Joke, oh, joke. fucking hell! <laughs> fucking hell! Like, oh, that was a oh, fucking hell! But no, I actually really like the look of that. Yeah, I, I call it the beer barrel because it does look a little bit like a beer barrel. But obviously, me being an alcoholic. <laughs> well, yeah, you see everything as a beer barrel. That's your problem. <laughs> You walk past one of them water dispensers, beer. But no, the someone said in the chat last night that it has got a, a steam crave look to it. Yeah, I said that. But is that a bad thing? No, really well. No, I don't really think well it made. is. I think it looks really cool. I, I've got to. I sent him a congratulations message because I think that is, you know, I think it's it's going to do really well. I'm surprised I'm he not, wasn't I'm, in I'm his not, tip. I've not seen the deck. I haven't seen anything else. He's kept it quite close to his chest. He said that it might be released uh, towards the end of the month. Um, yeah. I just hope he does a little bit better than how he was treated with the Kelpie. Um, well, I, I EH Pro are a bit, yeah. Well, I think about a porcelain deck as well. Hmm, interesting. A bauble tank. We'll need to get one. Um, Les Wardle <laughs> says a, a kebab wrap here are called Donkey's Knobs up here. <laughs> Can you imagine walking in and getting one of those? <coughs> is, that got, is that more to do with fucking ingredients? <laughs> Probably. It's all round here. It's exactly the same. Can you imagine him turning to the side, going to his mate who's working with him, going, he always, he always, he always asks for that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey! We're here, lads. We're here all week. Do try the fish. <laughs> Uh, we've got no, 42 fire. eligible uh, users uh, or people in it. So please, if you still want to be put into the giveaway, the wonderful Rochford Project, you've you've literally got, as well, three minutes until um, you, the, the code runs out. So we will draw it now. Let's roll it. 
And the winner is Mr. Anderson. Mr. Well done, brother. Anderson. Uh, he's doing some absolute fantastic mods as well. I've seen that he one is. that uh, hooked on Funk, Scott. He looks absolutely gorgeous. Yep. Um, Mr. Anderson, you've got my email address, littlebrovapes at gmail.com. Let me know, and I will get that all sorted for you. Go over and uh, pick what you want from the website. You get two flavours. And we'll get them sent out to you. Well done, buddy. And he is a really nice bloke as well. A really nice bloke. Oh, top um, wall. We top first wall. met. We first met him on the show. He shaved all his hair off for charity. Um, that's I how we that. first met. Lovely, yeah, lovely I did bloke. that. <laughs> yeah, I shave my hair for charity every week. Yeah, <laughs> the Pippa Fund. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's come down to that end of the uh, the show. Thank you so much for everybody who's joined us tonight. It's been an absolute corking show. Thank you so much for everybody in chat. You really do. Every week, it's in all the time. It really means a lot to us. Thank you so much to all the people who are on replay as well. I'm going to pass it over to the wonderful Harley. Before starting to start again. Before I go, Aiden. I'm the scat man. I need to see if it works all year round. The uh, baubles, baubles, baubles. <laughs> See, it does. Every, look at that cute little... He, he goes into, baubles. Them little babies when they have that right cute chubby smile. Like, yeah, so <laughs> do, you know, do you think it's like... What was that little... Oh, there was a little was, pastry puff boy or something. It used to poke its belly and it used to do that same laugh. <laughs> what, what was it called? Porky Pig. No, no. It was like the Puds, puds Door Berry Door Geezer. <laughs> yeah, that really went there. That, that was like you were picking random names out of your fucking No, but it is. It's like Dob... I can't... Oh, Pillsbury Doughboy. That's the fucker. That you, you tickle his tummy and goes... <laughs> <laughs> Swiftly moving on. Ladies and gentlemen, chat, you have been delightful. Aiden, you've been great. Mr. B, I forgot your name. <laughs> My brain went here. Three go fucking from letters and two syllables. <laughs> Mr. A-C-F... So <laughs> what well, I mean, vape, two syllables. Vape, Mr. B, Michael, bastard. They just all came running into my head. <laughs> I, I feel you on the bastard. That's what comes to my wife's head every morning. <laughs> You've all been great. Yeah, and, you watch, your wire. and you watching him. <laughs> You watching him a replay, you've been great too. So make sure you leave a comment down below. Everybody, it's been delightful. It's been nice. It's been great. Bye. <laughs> Over to the wonderful Mr. B. What comes after A and before C? Yeah, I don't know. Do we need to give Harley some like spelling on it? A, B, C. They will just sort it from there on. Ah, but also, ah, listen. Ah. Ah, 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 ah. So thank you all for turning up. Thank you all for being here. It's been a wonderful week. My 10th show. Roll on to 20. Let's see if I'm still here. Taking bets now. So, yeah, no, it's been a wonderful show. We, you know, we shaking the old coffee beans and him and his Becking bloody shoebox kebabs. <laughs> shoebox kebabs. That, that's going to be on my mind for a long time. Yeah, being, oh, I'm going to find Oh, I'll tell you. But no, it's been a wonderful night. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, back here next week, bring your friends or your bard. Back to Aiden. <laughs> Big love to everybody in chat. You do make the show. Thank you so much to all the spanners for looking out for us. And also, thank you so much to all the people who are on the replay. Don't forget, we're doing, me and Louise are doing the 11,000 steps, which is March the month for prostate cancer. UK. Please check the vlogs out on the Urban LBV channel as well. They are a bit of a giggle. Go over to Paul McCartney. Give him a little bit of a support. We are going to be doing um, raffles. We've got loads of stuff coming in from Inakin and uh, Proper Coils has put some stuff up as... Bloody burping now. Proper Coils has put some stuff up as well. Make sure you get over to Benny Vapes. Send him big love from all the people at Three Men and a Vape Show. Look after yourselves. We will see you same time, same back channel next week. Good night, sir. Good night. Thank you for sponsoring Oxford and Rochford Project. I'll say it. <laughs> and also proper coils for sponsoring. Them. And proper coils. Good, good, good night. Kiki <laughs> <laughs> bum wank into a shoebox. So, where's them coffee beans? <laughs> <laughs> Mother. <laughs>